Tonight, there's new oversight for this refinery in Commerce City. Complaints about the Suncor plant stretch back years. The state previously reported dozens of leaks, unregulated flares, harmful gas levels well above emission standards. And then in 2019, this yellow smog blowing from the plant. It settled as a fine yellow dust on nearby homes and cars and yards. Well, for decades, people have been living in the shadow of this refinery, and for many, moving is just not an option. Well, good evening and welcome to Denver 7 News at 10. I'm Shannon Ogden. And I'm Ann Trujillo. Thanks for joining us tonight. People who live near that plant are finally getting the oversight they've been demanding. As Denver 7 Sloan Dickey reports, the group in charge of this project says this is about standing up for people who have been ignored for too long. What is the best thing I could do on Earth Day? Hola, vecina. This. Together we could protect the planet and let them know what's being emitted. Lucy Molina has been on a mission for seven years. We have a lot of pollutants. She lives less than a mile away from the Suncor refinery in Commerce City. We smell it. I mean, I could literally taste it sometimes. I could feel it in my throat. The factory has been criticized in the past for large flares, yellow clouds, and even chemical snow. But activists say it's the pollution we don't see that could be causing the most damage. We don't know exactly what's being thrown out at us. Soon they'll get a better picture through a payment from Suncor itself. We're hoping to learn what pollutants are actually being emitted by the Suncor refinery. In 2020, Suncor settled a lawsuit with the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment for air quality violations. $2.6 million of that money was directed to nearby community groups like the one headed by Olga Gonzalez. Everyone talks about equity and racial justice. This is what it looks like in real time. Cultivando is an environmental and civil justice organization chosen to take $1.7 million of that money to set up new air monitoring devices around the refinery and nearby neighborhoods to see just what pollutants are impacting the surrounding communities. It'll give us reliable data about the pollutants in our air. It'll help us understand if there is a link between those pollutants and the um, health effects that people are experiencing. The monitors will pick up as many as 50 different pollutants in the air, such as sulfur dioxide, methane, and benzene. Olga says seeing the pollutants on a register will allow the communities to take control of their own environmental health. It's not somebody doing it for us coming into our community, but it's our own community doing it for ourselves. And this initiative was announced just yesterday, so the sensors have not been purchased just yet, but organizers tell Sloan they are hoping to use this information to craft a better conversation about the environmental impacts of this refinery with the state of Colorado and with Suncor in the future.